Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would film a little haul. Well, it's not that little, actually. Um, th these are all things I got from my local scrapbook store, I think. Yes. Um, and yeah, I just feel like talking about them, I guess. And this is where you're going to start to see... I buy a lot of craft supplies, <laughs> so there will be other hauls as well. But I kind of wanted to break up my videos between like project shares and hauls. Like, I don't want it to be all the same kind of video. Anyway, let's just get into it because it's going to be long. I'll start with the top. Um, so these are like some, I guess, older things that I bought. Um, and we'll move this over, I suppose. I'm still learning <laughs> how to film these, like, top-down videos. But this, um, is the Spellbinders Monster Birthday Die and Clear Stamp Bundle. So at my store, they were selling the whole bundle of the Spellbinders Monster... I guess, is it called Monster Birthday Collection? So I will show you what this is. So the, the first thing here, oh, uh, maybe I should zoom in a bit more. These are just little eyes. Um, these are, yeah, called monster eyes. They're enamel stickers and you will see more how they work with the collection in a bit, but I had to get these. I'm also waiting on the glasses, if you are familiar with their new release there's a set of glasses that you put on the monsters and it just makes them even cuter but um my store was sold out of them so I ordered those as well but these are the eyes and then look how cute this is so this is one of the reasons I just felt like I needed to have the whole collection because this little panda it's actually um its body moves so it's one of their dancing yeah the dancing birthday panda so even though it's a birthday collection I felt like this could be for anything like this panda is really giving Valentine's Day <laughs> to me like those like vintage Valentines that have like most random animals on them I would love to make one out of this and put like a heart doily in the background. I just think that would be so cute. So this is little panda. I just love him so much. So this is what it looks like. Um, so if you don't know about the Spellbinders dancing dies, they, they move. So there's always like a hole where you would put like a foam, um, what do you call it? like a pop dot or whatever. Some people just cut a circle out of paper many times and like layer it up, but that's how like they swing. So I actually think I have a sample I can show you. So this one is a card I made for Christmas. I actually meant to give this to somebody, but I forgot. <laughs> so it's in my stash now. But if you can see, well, I'll take it out of the packaging. This is another dance and die set from Spellbinders. Um, if you can see the legs, <laughs> they're supposed to move. I don't know. You can see it better like when you're holding it this way, but it's hard to show from the top down but yeah the legs move so that's what this will do except this one says the body swings back and forth so you would just like stick the head down and then have the whole body move so that's really cute um then in the bundle everything came in this bundle except the eyes the eyes and the glasses are separate um, but here's what I mean about those eye stickers. Like, you could put them on the little monsters. So how cute are these? These remind me of, like, Pixar. Um, right? Is it Pixar or Disney? I don't, I don't know. You know, the movie with the monsters. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. So, so, yeah, these ones say specifically the legs swing back and forth. So this one will just be the legs that move. 
And that's what this looks like. Just look how many pieces. And it's so cute. And a little party hat here. This is the Dancing Birthday Monster. Then there's the dragon, which I also love. And this one, it is the whole body that swings. And this little guy holds a little present. And yeah, I just love it so much. <laughs> And then the dinosaurs are also just so cute. Um, these are the birthday dinosaurs. And you can make it have a little flower crown if you want it to be like a little girly dinosaur, I guess, with eyelashes. But yeah, I thought that was so cute. For like, also like, um, birth, like kids' birthdays, you could do, you know, anything with these really. And then what also came, yeah, in the set is the stamps. So the stamps coordinate with um, the dies. So like this, for example, says have a dynamite day. So you would put that with the dinosaurs. Um, some of them are just like, you know, your basic happy birthday, birthday wishes. This is cute. I'm sorry. I was such a monster. <laughs> you slay me. So you could do... That would be so cute as a valentine also the little um the dragon and you write you slay me underneath little monster sending monstrous okay like sending monstrous birthday wishes you could do that i did actually use this already because i made a birthday card for my cousin um with something else i'll show you and i use this in the inside of the card eat cake and celebrate big. I really just like the font here. And look at this. Hope your day is pandastic. <laughs> to my best friend, Asaurus. Light up the candles. It's party time. So you're like, you know, all kinds of birthday sentiments in here that don't necessarily have to go with the monsters. Like I said, I'll show you something I did. I already gave her the card, so I don't have the card to show you, but I will tell you about it. So this was super fun because this came in the bundle and this is a huge set. Like if you bought it on its own, well, in Canadian prices at my local store, it would have been thirty-seven seventy-five. So because, you know, it's such a big die set. But this is really cool because the inside is like a tag die, but then you could either like make it bigger with the arches. But what I did is I actually made a shaped card out of the biggest size and it was really cute. So this is so versatile, I feel. And the little thing in the middle says make a wish. Um, yeah, you can see it in the picture. So you could use it with or without that. And you could just use this on its own, which is what I did when I made the card. I just used that on the front as a sentiment. And yeah, I just think this is something really good to have in my stash. And I love the like, whatever that is called, like the fluted look. So this is the Make-A-Wish arch labels and then this um was really fun also so these are like balloons birthday balloons so i don't know if you can see they have like the texture that makes them look more balloonish so i actually cut this out of gold foil paper so it really did look like a balloon and then you have even the little strings with this that you know you put to make it look like a balloon. So that's what I did with the card that I made. It was her 25th birthday, so I used the two and the five. And yeah, so I that's just an example of how I used this whole like collection. I didn't even use the monsters. So that's the kind of thing like I think is worth it to purchase. Um, like these bundles, when they're like you can use them for many things like this to me is birthday um like anything Val valentine's day like i said um i could even see like the dragon and the monsters you could do for halloween so 
I just think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this bundle and I'm really excited for the glasses because I think they'll look so cute on the monsters so I had to get this okay I better speed this up because that was only one thing <laughs> so here's some things I got for making Valentine's albums I think is what I want to do so I'll zoom back out because these are 12 by 12 so this is the simple stories simple vintage love story collection I think I got like every piece <laughs> so uh, because I also got the the card kit from Simon Says Stamp this month which is this collection is the theme so I'm like set for this which is fine because I love simple stories uh, simple vintage you will find out <laughs> as I make more videos but I'm actually not like a super vintage crafter I'm not like into the distressed vintage but I feel like simple stories vintage is still cute like it I don't know it's still still my style I don't know how else to say that but anyway these are the simple vintage love story ephemera I don't know if you guys want me to open everything I feel like we'll be here forever but that's what's in here and I just love all of it I love stamps and like postage type things which I think is why I really like this collection it was for that part of it but yeah I'm very excited to use these I love these ephemera that are like bigger that you could actually use them like as functional pieces like if you put them in albums you could like journal on them or put pictures on them something like that so I had to get these I also had to get the enamel dots these are the glossy enamel dots uh, because I just love the colors <laughs> that's basically it but I do use these on cards on like album covers so I will get some good use out of those and then I also had to get this the big bits right yeah I'm just trying to think now did I mix my Simon Says stamp up with this but no I didn't so yeah I got the big bits from my local store so this is something new I think I haven't seen this before something called big bits it's basically just ephemera but bigger <laughs> I don't know so you only get like this many there's something covering here oh, a little postage stamp so these I'll just pull one out as an example like look how big this is that is so pretty um so this you could put like this could be a card like the card front you know um I did see a lot of people making cards with these big bits and they were so pretty so I'm very excited about these and then I also got the um car no chipboard stickers um I just like these also <laughs> I don't know what else to say I like them for inside of albums depending on the style of the album um sometimes it's like you know it's gonna be too chunky if you use a lot of these but also the fronts of albums and I just love these little the little camera I love how this is like vintage now like is that how old <laughs> we are I don't know um yeah so I had to get those okay this is like should I okay I'll just show you it, this first um but I actually got this afterwards because my store didn't have them at first because the so this is a simple stories simple cards card kit and these are very popular so it's hard to get them apparently so my store doesn't always have them like when they first get the rest of the collection but they got it after and I
quickly snatched it up. So I love these because I actually make albums with them. Well, I should say I've only made one album <laughs> with the card kit so far, but it's like one of my favorite things I've ever made. It's actually the first album I ever made and it was with um, one of these card kits and it was a tutorial from Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy. So I think I will make this one into an album also because I just don't know who I would give these cards to, you know? But they are really nice cards also, but yeah, we'll see what I do with that. So if you're not familiar, this is um, how it comes. It's actually like sheets, but everything is already punched or like, you know, cut to a certain extent and you just punch it out of the paper. The only thing you don't get in the Simple Stories card kits is the envelopes. I don't really care because I have like a bulk pack of envelopes from Michaels but for some people like I get how that could be annoying because you'd have to go out and get envelopes for the cards and these are A2 size so you know you'd have to get those kind of envelopes but I just think this is going to be so fun and I love these little doilies but yeah sometimes so when I do an album with these I don't necessarily use all the pieces so I might have leftovers um, for other stuff but this makes eight cards um, and then as if that wasn't enough I had to get the <laughs> I don't know if this light is like good or bad because it makes a glare but it is nighttime when I'm filming so I don't know Anyway, this is the Simple Vintage Love Story Collection Kit. So it's all the 12 by 12 papers and the sticker sheet on the back. And yeah, <laughs> now that I look at all this together, I have a lot of this collection, but I hopefully will be able to make a lot of fun things with it. Um. So yeah, I just really love the colors in this collection. And like I said before, it's vintage, but it's still cute. And it's still like pastel, so that's what I like about it. I also love all of these cut aparts. Those are really nice for album making. And I also got the um the vintage basics kit. So this is the coordinating like solid um cardstock although simple stories when they do these they're not like truly solid colors like there's still like some you know pattern on them but yeah I got this because um the last time I worked with the simple stories collection when I made an album I found I didn't have like the best matching papers so I got this just to have I might not even need to use it but at least I have it <laughs> that's my motto so that was everything from that love story collection excluding my Simon Says Stamp stuff but I'll show that in a different video because that's a whole other thing um but moving on to this is mostly Easter yeah just a few little extra things so um i had to get these these are wax beads from spellbinders but they're the opal ones so i mainly got these because of uh suzanne from a creative muse she has like really great videos uh, mostly with spellbinders because she kind of like works for them i guess um, she has like collabs with them, but she was sharing like a whole bunch of different beads and she was saying like how much she loved these ones because if you just put like one or two of these with anything else, it changes like the whole thing. It makes them like iridescent. You can't really see that well on video, but they're not like um, flat white. They're like, I don't know curly kind of thing. You can kind of see it here. So I'm very excited to use these because I just got into making wax seals. <laughs> Another 
hobby, but it's related, right, to card making and everything. So, um, yeah, these will be fun for my stash. And then, okay, you will see in another video, um, I have a lot of projects to share with you from this, um, doodle bug collection this is the snow much fun well these two things are from the snow much fun collection so um i did a like class it was actually 12 hours in one day um it's a it's called a palooza so um there's a company in i think they're in washington they're called three craft chicks and they do these things called paloozas and I think it's always with Doodlebug. And it's a 12-hour event where they do all kinds of projects. Like you purchase the kit and then you get into a Facebook group and you follow, you know, the projects. So I have tons of things from there. Um, but my local store, they just got in that collection. And I was like, oh, well now I need a few more things. Because I just couldn't help myself. I had to have... Um, the Yeti in the Doodle Pop. So these are like, um, they're stickers, but they're, oh, how am I going to show you this? <laughs> they're layered, if you can see. So they're really cute, like on the front of albums or on tags or cards or anything like that. And this Yeti is like one of my favorite things from the collection. So I had to get him. And then I also had to get a shaker pop. So this is kind of the same thing. It's still a sticker, like layered, but these have like shaker bits in them. You can't really, you know, tell when it's in the packaging, but look how cute he is. I just love them. So I had to get those. Oh, and also while I'm talking about that collection, I got the the paper pack, the Snow Much Fun textured cardstock because I have so many scraps left over from the class but um I don't think I will have paper in my stash like solid paper that will go so I had to get this but also the doodle bug paper is textured if you can see and it's just really nice and I love the colors so we did get um, I think like two pieces of it in the class kit, but I just had to have all the colors basically. So I did get that as well for creating more projects with my snow much fun scraps. But then we're, <laughs> let's get back to simple stories. So much like the love story collection, I also got almost everything. <laughs> from the Simple Vintage Spring Garden collection. So this is their, oh, I have something else here that's not related. I'll talk about that after. Um, yeah, this is their spring, sort of Easter, although does, nothing says Easter, I'm pretty sure. Um, but you know, there's bunnies and stuff, so you could use it for Easter. But, so I got the layered bits which are just like ephemera, but what makes them different from ephemera? I guess the fact that they're just, they look layered, <laughs> but they're not actually layered. Like they're not dimensional is what I mean. But I still just like, how could I not get this? Look how cute this is. So yeah, more of that. So let me know in like future, do you want me to open everything and show you? I feel like I might have wanted that, but we'll be here all day. Maybe I'll do it with like a smaller haul because I also got these ephemera. Um, these are just, you know, the regular ephemera, I guess. But I love when Simple Stories, the vintage collections, they do these like bingo cards and, you know, these like ticket type things. They're so fun and yeah. I had to get that. And then I also needed to get these decorative brads, of course. <laughs> so these I just love for album covers. Just to add like a little finishing touch. I feel like they're so cute. And 
yeah these ones are just I don't know I just love the colors of simple stories collections so that's all I have to say really look at this one little bunny so yeah got those and then I got the collection again the 12 by 12 so you know um, comes with the sticker sheet so I actually have two of these sticker sheets now because I am taking a class um, a card class where we use this collection um, but it's not okay so <laughs> I also have a card kit here, but the cards we're making in that class are way different from like the Simple Stories cards. Um, I'll probably show those, like I'll do a project share after the class. It's on February 10th. I accidentally signed up for two classes on the same day. <laughs> so we'll see when I get around to it. But we're using this collection and I was just like, well, I have to have more of it. So that's why I got, whoops. That's why I got the full collection. I don't know if I'll even need to break into it yet, but again, I have it now. So there's that. And this is the card kit that goes with the collection, which I am most likely, yeah, gonna make an album out of because I will have all those other cards from the collection. So, um, yeah very excited to make more albums with card kits because they turn out so cute and they're like a really cute size so I'll be doing that and if you want to know more about making um, albums with the Simple Stories card kit you need to go watch Let's Get Scrappy um, Tiffany on YouTube because that's where I saw that's where I got the idea because she did a tutorial with that. Um, and then I got this. So this is the Vintage Basics kit for the Spring Garden collection. But what I liked about it is it has um, gingham. Right? Is that what you would call? Yeah, gingham. So one side is going to be this and the other side is this. So this is just something I would have gotten even if I didn't get the collection because this I always feel like I need like a gingham or a plaid or something to go with other stuff and I really like the colors here so I did get that <clears throat> and then the last thing I got just in case I want to make specifically Easter things <laughs> um, Simple Stories has these what they call simple sets so it's like a smaller collection kit um, basically. So you have two sheets each of three. What? That doesn't make sense. Two sheets each of three double-sided designer cardstock paper, including the cut aparts, one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock stickers. So one of those. And again, love the colors. I just love the colors of Easter because I love pastels so it's not even necessarily the fact that it's Easter. I just love pastels anything so naturally I had to get this and I love these. I love this tag and these little circle stickers. So this might be more, I don't know, for more cards. We'll have to see. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then the last thing. So, um, what I, I didn't even share, but I actually did get it also at my local scrapbook store. The Simple Stories Winter Wonder card kit. I only got the card kit for this collection because I was like, okay, you need to calm down <laughs> on, you know, wintry theme things. So I only got the brads because I intend on making an album with that card kit also. So I got the brads as like extra little embellishments because the card kits don't come with dimensional things. Like it's all ephemera and like flat pieces. So I thought this could add a little something. And yeah, that is everything, at least for my local scrapbook store haul. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I hope you like this video. I don't know. I feel like it was just a little chaotic. And now you might be like, wow, you buy way too many things. But if you guys make albums, um, I also do sell my crafts, so <laughs> there's that. But yeah, you might know if you make albums and cards. You use a lot of paper at, at once. Like one album uses so much paper, right? Anyway, that's my excuse. So let me know if you want to see anything specific about these and hopefully I can get around to it but yeah that's it for now so if you like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye